Okay, guys. I could not be more excited right now because, oh my god, okay. So, there, let me explain. I, need a, I have a little story to tell before I start this. So, there is a mod coming out for this game, Portal 2, called Aperture Tag. And it's basically, it's not really a mod for the game, it's it's more of like another campaign, kind of like how, it's like Gmod, kind of, not really, no, it's not, it's not like Gmod, but like, you know how Gmod, like, you need a source game to play it, it's like Aperture Tag, you need Portal 2 to play it, and I originally only, I originally only had Portal 2 on the Xbox 360, which I don't have a capture card for, but I got the, I got Portal 2 for PC now, so I could get the mod when it comes out, uh, and I'm like, hey, why not do a gameplay series on that? And if, in case you don't know, Portal 2 was either like my second or third favorite game of all time. I, I can't really decide if I like it more than South Park 64, because South Park 64 is such like a part of my childhood. It really holds a special place in my heart, so I don't know if if Portal 2 can really beat that out in my head, but it, it's a really, really good game. It's one of the first games I played that had a, a really good story and, and stuff like that. So we're just going to like get into it. And this is the first episode, I'm doing the first episode right now, it's going to be a little bit longer than the rest of the episodes. Uh, just because that's how I like to do it, so. Here we go, single player, I'm so excited, I love this game so much. I love it, I love it, man, I love it. Hopefully, everything works out and I can actually, like, record this without it lagging. I don't know, it seems to be going good right now. But I guess we'll find out, huh? Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical... Hold on, guys. I got some things to, to handle here. Hold on. Uh, where the heck is it? Where is... Uh, keyboard mouse. Sensitivity up! It's like, Jesus, acceleration amount, I don't know what the hell that means, but I guess we'll keep it like that. Okay, I guess I'm good now. Go and mental wellness exercise. That's better. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical... You know what? I lied. Uh, I might want to turn it down a little bit. Oh, that's not the right thing. Might want to turn it down a little bit now. Because that was a little crazy. And mental wellness exercise. Alright, that's good. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. I shall. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. It's beautiful. I love it. It's great. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Okay, I shall sleep. Oh god. Oh god! Now I'm dying! Not really. That was a joke. You have been in suspension for... Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you going to open the door? At any time? Ah! Oh, God. You look um good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, uh -oh. stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Hold on to this. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm going to put on subtitle only. <laughs> there we go. That's that's there we go. That'll be better. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. 
Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. I love that right? joke. Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. <laughs> say apple. 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 Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> I love this game All so much. Core this game is the best. Are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? i got enough space. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. You're not a very good driver, Wheatley. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds ten thousand flipping vegetables? Uh, I don't know, the gardener. Ah, I see, no, I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight. All right. If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry. But if anyone asks. Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay, not dead. Gotcha. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing oh, gosh. tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. <laughs> so there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Yes, very there. technical. Very Remember, technical. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Well... There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Gotcha. Good luck! Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These show in the toilet. messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. There's me. This is the room from the first portal where you start out in at the beginning. In case you didn't realize that. I'm sure you did though. Probably. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. I like the elevator in Portal 2 a lot better. Like before it was this big bulky thing, now it's like very slimmer and it just goes through the regular tubes. They explain that in the developer commentary. It's actually very interesting how they came up with this. Because they wanted you to feel very insignificant, like the the uh, like GLaDOS and the whole testing facility didn't really care about you. It was really interesting. I like the developer commentaries in Portal 1 and 2. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. 
you are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. <laughs> well, that's not good. Good thing it's not happening to me, I don't think. Because I have brain damage, so... Alright. Alright, let's do this! Oh, yes. This is very similar to the test in Portal 1, except you actually control it, which I like. Uh, okay, so this one now. Bada bing! Oh god, I'm going all over the place. And... Ba... Da... Good. Boom! Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Alright, let's do this. Seriously guys, I can't stress how much I love this game. This game is just the greatest. <laughs> I just love it so much. I can't wait to continue playing. The Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Listening to reason. Oh, here we go. This is where we get your portal gun from. I remember this from the first game. Hey, you made it. Oh, hello. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. No. Oh gosh! I've played this game three times and I do not remember that happening. Also, are you alive? That's important. Keep asked that first. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right. Brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not... I love the art in this. Look at that. Like, that's Shell. Or Chell, or however the hell you pronounce it. That's me, actually. I I'm, I'm Chell. I'm the place of girl. Portal gun. There's GLaDOS giving Chell cake. I love this game. Awesome. Now where, now where do I go? Oh, up here. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta something go. That's a song, right? Gotta something. Going around here. <clears throat> okay. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Alright. You can't jump in this elevator, which is weird. I guess the ceiling is too low. I wonder what Portal would be like if it didn't have a silent protagonist. Like, what if Chell talked, right? Like, how would that... Like, I want to know what that would be like. I think that would be interesting. I don't know if I'd like it or not, because I'm so used to being a sound protagonist. I'm not sure how that would work out, but... This next know. test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. This test is actually from the first portal also, I remember this test. I'm sure you do too if you saw my first portal uh, walkthrough. Test number four. I remember this one too, I think all, all of like these beginning tests are actually from the first game, which is cool. Oh, can I shoot that thing off? Yes! I love doing that in the first game, just destroying everything. All of those things. Oh. Man, this sensitivity is like, I, I'm gonna take a while to get used to. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. Whoop! Bam! Over. Oh. <laughs> because this message is important, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. 
Please disregard any undeserved compliments. I remember this part too. Oh, I guess I'm going over here. This is different. Because <laughs> it's not the first portal. Oh, unreason. V, 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 V. I don't know what the heck that is. A broken screen. I see. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I guess I'm not supposed to go over there because the. Oh, oh, I just go around here. Gotcha. <laughs> Remember your evacuation training. Are they just running? That's funny. That, that's how they train. They just jogged in place for like 20 minutes. Sounds great. Yeah. Okay, let's if do this. The Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well, this test is actually new. This isn't in the first game. How do, can you sprint in this? No, you can just crouch. I don't know why they would be sprinting in this game, but... I guess let's do that, and we will press this button. Come at me, cube. Thank you. I guess you go on here, huh? Yes, you do. I was correct. Awesomeness. I need another cube. What does this cube do? Oh. Oh, I see. What do you gotta do? Yay! Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. I think we're going to... I think each episode is going to be 20 minutes, maybe? Something like that, I don't know. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. I right, never mind. We're gonna go until that part. You know, I mean, I don't know if you, I don't know if you've played this game before, but there's a part in the game that I want to get to before I end the first episode. Oh, hello. Oh, I see what I gotta do. F -f -f Fling yourself. That was from the first Portal game. Gladys so says that. She's just like fling yourself. And there they are. Okay. <laughs> well, there goes that cube. Come on. Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. Now let me try not to go in the portal. Because, like, this is actually auto tracking. So, like, you. Hold on. I gotta turn this down again. Hold on a second. Like, there's actually tracking on the portal. So, when you're falling, the game actually helps you get in the portal. But sometimes you don't want to do that. <laughs> does it do it with cubes? Let's find out. I guess it does. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Oh, it's down there now. Hello, cube. Where do I take you? Oh, that's solid ground. That's not. That's not poop water. Uh, now where do I take it? Where do I take you now, cube? I guess in there, huh? But how do I get in there? I guess we'll do that. See how that goes. Come on, cube. Come on, really? Really? Nope! Okay. Right, let me actually try carrying it through like this. No! Oh wait, I do, I do have it. Sweet. Because sometimes it'll like stay or whatever. Maybe they fixed that in Portal 2. I don't know. Oh, okay. Whee! 
Still do. Awesome. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. What's up with all these feather-looking things? I don't know what's up with that, so it's... Looks like they're playing chess with people! Oh, I just remembering. There's this one puzzle in this game that gets me every time. I can't figure it to out ensure ever. Sufficient power remains for core testing protocols. All safety devices have been disabled. The enrichment center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey, this part is fun. Hey, oi, oi. Hello. Yo. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun. Oh, the. Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop <laughs> a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Wait, but I was just on the other side of the room, wasn't I? Or am I, am I being crazy? Whatever, alright. Hello. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here, so get ready to catch me, all right? Okay. On the off chance that okay. I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! <laughs> I have actually successfully caught him before, but I wanted to I'm show you what would dead. happen if you can. <laughs> I can't move them. That's the problem, there. Are you still? Are you still there? Could you pick me up? Do you think? Oh, brilliant! Thank you. Great. Plug me into that stick on the wall over there. Yeah, and I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. I remember this one time I was holding him and I could not find what he was talking oh, about. Just jam me in over there. I we gotta listen to what he says. It's hilarious, though. Just he just <laughs> right on that stick over there. Just put me right on it. It is tricky, it is tricky, but, um... <laughs> I love that. Just plug me in! Please. I love how he's like, uh, I know it's difficult, yeah, but, uh, you know... You're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open. While well, your back was turned. Pick me up, let's get out of here. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. This Hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Hello. Oh no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Okay. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A: sit here, do nothing. Option B: go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. All right, let's go. I'm sure if you saw my Portal One playthrough, you remember this area <laughs> and where we're about to go. Okay, I'm gonna leave my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. I'm gonna stay silent. I'm gonna stay silent doing this, but there she is. What a nasty piece of work she was. Honestly, like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently, this human escaped, and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch anything. Okay, I don't actually know where to go. <laughs> Not quite sure, to be honest with you. I don't quite remember where to 
to walk to. Uh, I don't, like, where do I go? Over here, maybe? Oh, yes, over here, that's right, I forgot. There we go. Down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got, you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do, do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note, no braces on your spine either, so, so don't <laughs> land on that. Um, or your head, no braces there. That could, that could split like a melon from this height. <laughs> um, so do definitely focus on landing with your legs. Quick, quick question, have you been working out? Because, I'll be honest, there's no evidence of it. You know, I'm not, I'm not like just a plastic cup. Uh, we will be landing with some force, so a uh, bit, of, bit of grip. Just using grip, classic grip. Okay. Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grip, we're all fine. That's tremendous. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I love the things he says when ah! you just wait. Sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, I've just done it again. All right, let's go. This That's just the fight that I want to get to. Look Holy for something crap. that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at, well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. Just quoting God. Oh, look at that! Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. <laughs> uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic! Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I can I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just I'll just hack. It's not a problem. A A A A A Um A. Okay. A A A A A C. Wait, did I do B? Do, do you have a pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. I've done nothing wrong. Hello. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How, How have, have you, you been? been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! 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 Oh no, 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 no! Ah. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. <laughs> but I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. So, you, you monster. monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first.